Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Collins Prepper with a follow-up video on my Simplex repeater. I'm outside here in Moscow and it's about zero degrees Fahrenheit. It's pretty cold and I'm going to demo my Simplex repeater specifically to address a follow-up question, how to waterproof a Simplex repeater and use it. So for those of you who haven't seen my first video, a Simplex repeater is a box that digitally records radio traffic, stores it, and then plays it back uh, right after that first transmission. So I have my Yesu handheld radio here on the frequency for my Simplex repeater and I'm going to go ahead and transmit to it. R3CU radio check on the Simplex repeater. R3CU radio check on the Simplex repeater. And what just happened here is I transmitted to the Simplex repeater. The Simplex repeater recorded that message and then when I stopped transmitting it played that message back. Another neat feature about the Simplex repeater is it has a voicemail option, and I'll demonstrate that. So let's say you have a bunch of guys working a, working a mountain on a hunting trip, but you don't have radio range between each other. You can actually leave messages for each other on the Simplex repeater. So I'm going to go ahead and access uh, those messages I already left on there to give you a demo. And now for the second message. I left the keys for the truck on the back left tire. So, here you can see the functionality of the Simplex repeater and how it could apply to uh, an emergency communications plan or a hunting trip or just basic prepping. Uh, again, I'll demo this again. I'm going to transmit into it. R3CU conducting a radio check on the Simplex repeater. So if I had one of these simplex repeaters between two locations, I would transmit into the repeater, the repeater would store it and play it out and increase my range or allow me to work around obstacles that could obstruct my radio communications. So I'm going to walk all the way over there to where my house is and we'll show you how I weatherproof the simplex repeater, uh, one of many ideas that you could probably use. So I'm going to pause here and walk over there. Okay, so we just walked over there from the uh, park area, and we're going to walk back, walk around back to where uh, the repeater is sitting in its weatherproof housing and slightly camouflaged. And it's getting pretty cold out here, so I got to switch hands. So you've been back here before in other videos where I got my ham radio HF antenna up there, if I can find it. And there's my coax. And then back here I have the simplex repeater. So I got my radio system here and uh, she's going to pull it out for us and show it to us. But you can see how cold it is and there's not a whole lot to work with for camouflage unless for snow. So radio assistant, go get the repeater. Put your hood on. Keep your hood on. Dig it out. Grab the handle. And go put it on the patio for me. Okay? Okay. Now you go around front in front of the house, okay? Go around the front of the house, please. So there it is. I put the Simplex repeater in a one gallon paint can that I got at Home Depot with a VHF antenna on the top and uh, we'll take it inside and open it up so you can uh, so you can see how I did it. Hello everybody we're back inside here where it's warmer and there's the uh, poor man's repeater in a one gallon paint can that I got from the Home Depot and what I did here is I got a on eBay I bought two of these just so I had a spare in case I made a mistake this is what they call a, a Motorola NMO antenna mount typically put in the roof of a car and I got two of these for, let's say, 10 bucks each, 20 bucks with the shipping. Uh, didn't come in any connectors, but it was good enough for this project. So I got two of those. That's the spare. And here we're going to try to unscrew this so you can see what it is. And what that does is it allows you to make a weatherproof antenna connection for your radio antennas. And that's called an NMO mount. And... I think what it stands for is new Motorola mount. 
uh, something that came out in the 70s, but don't quote me on that. So I'm going to pause this again, open the can so you can see what's inside. Okay, everybody, I got the can open, and here's the opposite side of the lid. That's the back side of the NMO antenna mount. Here's the other side. And I cut and shortened up the cable. I'm sorry there's not a lot of light in here. So the first thing we'll pull out here is my Kenwood radio. And that was the transceiver that was uh, repeating for us. I'm going to unplug it here. And then plugged into that was the ADS SR1 simplex repeater by Argent Data Systems. These are 85 bucks. And I'll put a link again down below. So basically all I had here was a handheld radio with a speaker mic connector that hooked into the mic jack on the side of the radio that came out to a whip antenna connected to the lid of the paint can and that was I say pretty weatherproof I wouldn't say it would last a year but it would definitely last for a hunting trip or a weekend or during a hurricane or an emergency and like I said you can get these uh, NMO mounts pretty cheap on eBay. Uh, again, I got these for like 20 bucks with shipping. I got two of them from the same guy, but they're out there. Uh, and I guess you could probably do this with a, with an ammo can or any kind of metal can. Uh, what's nice is this gives you a little bit of a, a ground plane for your transmissions. Uh, and you can probably use bigger cans if you wanted to have external batteries and things like that. This was just something quick to respond to some questions I got and ideas I had a weatherproof uh, simplex repeater. So as always, uh, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Cons Prepper with the weatherproof poor man's repeater.